Hey there everyone and welcome back to Game Vine and this guy is Dave. Trevor. Chris. And we are going to explore the caves of Let's Go, or kind of. Uh, the game we have on deck is called Let's Go Exploring the Ancestral Arts and what is that again? Phalanx. Phalanx. Uh, it's made by Phalanx Games and uh, it, that's, uh, they took uh, the theme for Let's Go, the cave that they found in France. Uh, it has the most pristine art, give us a kind of vision to the old days. Um, and uh, that's where the theme stops. It, this is basically just a card game uh, of betting, and it has some pretty cool um, components. Well, at least wanted. That's a, my first impression when I first seen this game was these kind of uh, seashell uh, rocks. I don't know if they, they were painted. I don't know how they made them, but this intrigued me. And I heard uh, some murmuring about this game, so I got it. And we uh, played it a few times, and now we're reviewing it. What was the first thing that you thought of uh, when you seen this game, Trevor? Um, I mean, it, it looked really simple, and it looked like it... Uh, I mean, the theme definitely comes through. It, it seems very, like, kind of an ancient sort of feel to it, as far as the, um, the theme and the subject matter. So, um, I think... It it look it looks like it delivered on what it was trying to do as far as theme, but yeah, I, I like the components and it, and it looked cool. It looked it had that kind of ancient feel to it. Gotcha. So. What do you think? Yeah, I am uh, gonna be completely honest with you guys. I the first time I saw this game when you brought it out and we were gonna do it, I didn't think I was gonna like it. <laughs> Only because I I really really cannot stress this enough how much I do not like of tech. Sorry to say that, but... Um, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's yeah. more. Yeah, splashed. All over his face. Um, yeah, I'm not a big um, fan of Ugg Tech, and I saw this, so... The I do... So the caveman theme really threw me. I'm like, I don't it, know if it I'm going to It soured your palate It did, bad. it did. But... Wow, like I just can't buy a caveman but, game anymore. He's just going to hate them. I know, I, I went into it thinking I was going to hate it. And, uh, and I'll tell you what I'll think about it exactly. when we get there. Exactly, yeah. So we have so somebody I'll let you take that over. you thought you might not like it, me and Trevor had. We'll see if the theme intrigue. remains true for Right. For so, so with all that being said, let's show you how to play and give you a in-depth of what comes into the box. Let's go. Okay, so here are the components that come in the game of Last Go. Now, the production quality by Mayday Games is spectacular in this one. All the cardboard components are thick, the card quality is a linen finish and uh, standard uh, thickness, but good cards. And of course, I'm sure your eye was caught by these kind of pearlescent shell things that you bid with. I don't know if you can really gather how shiny they are, but they're really cool and they have decent weight. Now the thing about this game is the insert is incorporated within the game. So I want to show it off. These little things here just hold the um, counters here for all five players, but that little bowl you're going to be throwing these shell things into when you bid. But we'll get into that a little later. Each one of these components here have a different color hand symbol and of course a little shape uh, in the middle here and all of the players will get every color hand and you'll see why that is that way in a second uh, of course we'll go over the cards uh, the art is uh, cool it's, it's gathered from the uh, caves of Lasco uh, I don't know if I the art's okay it's sometimes hard to decipher which animals are which but if you look hard enough you will uh, be able to pick up the differences but some of them are more subtle than others but it's just repeating they have color hands on them and different um, animals and then again we have the bidding token so those are the components now let me show you how to play this game all right, so this is a game of Last Go, set up for three players. Now, you're gonna give everyone uh, a stack of their player six counter marks here with the color hands and their symbol on the back and 12 of these bidding pearlescent shell tokens. 10 in a five player game. You'll take the rest of the bidding tokens and throw them aside. You won't be needing them in the game. Uh, so I like to compare Last Go to the game No Thanks. If you played that, it's a bidding game of uh, trying to collect sets or not collect sets in uh, No Thanks and trying to get negative points. Now Let's Go, it is the reverse. You are trying to collect the most, the majority of these animal sets to get the most positive points. And um, this is just at a grander scale. Uh, now do you need both of them? Well, I'll show you how to play and I'll let you make that decision because this is kind of a more gamery no thanks. I think. So in the game, what you're trying to do is you're going to have a pot of uh, 
either five or seven cards here. I'll go over that a little more in detail in a second. And you're going to be trying to bid on these each round. And if you want to stay in the round, you put one of these little tokens in here. And the next person will put one if they want to stay in and so forth and so on. Now, at the beginning of the round, though, there is some kind of deduction and kind of mystery in the game. Because as you can see, there are colored hands here. And you want to claim the cards uh, to build sets. So in this one, there are a lot of buffalo. But I can only put one color hand out. So um, buffalo appears twice. Or, yeah, there, it's all buffalo. I didn't shuffle them really well. But uh, I think brown would be the best here. So you only get to claim the color uh, hand cards that are on here. So if I bid here, it's all uh, mystery and you don't show to the end of the round. And then if you win, you show. And this uh, player, he stayed in the longest because you can always pass. And when you pass, you get to claim the tokens for later bidding, just like in No Thanks. But you're out of the round and you might be able to get cards but if you win the round uh, you uh, then show your hand claim all the brown uh, hand cards or whatever color that you have and put them in front of you and everyone knows what sets you have there are remaining cards though so let's say this guy picked green and he was the second to last out that means you get to do a little something he'll take all the green cards and put them in front of him now uh, if there's a third player and there are cards left he was able to get uh, little bidding tokens but he bid it he bid brown because well everybody's seen brown was the majority on the buffalo and he gets nothing but let's say he did either white or yellow he would get to claim this card so he got a little something but that is how the game of Lasco is uh, played uh, let me actually go into detail how the board is put out you will flip over either um, a appropriate amount of cards once all six color hands have appeared on the board here you stop or you stop at the seventh card so we have one two three uh, four five six so we only have five cards here because pink showed up at the end there but if pink didn't show up we or he showed up again pink just wants to show up uh, we, we would keep going until we got the seventh card pink is everywhere right here so we either will have five cards I think is the only way that you can get by or seven cards so each round is going to be varied in what you're bidding for you'll continue to do this process uh, taking these hint, uh, here and bidding one you don't bid uh, more than one it just uh, lets you go buy another turn and lets other people decide if they want to either take the pot and put it in their pile and these also count as a uh, one point for every three little tokens so these might make the difference but what you're really trying to do is get points via sets again if you have the majority of one animal you get that many points say five deer you get five points so forth and so on you again continue to play that till the deck runs out and then you count to see how many points you've gathered and that is the winner so that is the game of let's go now let's tell you what we think about this game and give it a grade so that is the basic gameplay of let's go very very simple as you can see and uh, as we always do we're going to give this game a grade and or a percentage and these guys are going to stick to whatever they want to do um and uh i settled on a 70 70 percent which is just a standard c it's like c minus actually right uh but that doesn't mean it's a bad game it's a really solid game it reminds me of no thanks and the betting aspect aspects but this kind of gives gives no thanks a gamer kind of strategy to it because if you're not paying attention there are nine of each animal in here uh, you can play that kind of strategy and back and forth, whereas you, at the end of the game, you can either try to get more points and stack up your uh, benefit there, or you can hinder the opponent and steal the cards from them. And that kind of happened in, in uh, the last game that we played. I got a lot of cards, and I wasn't too far behind you, and right. so I could have overtook you. Um, so, But uh, you were pretty pretty well off in that yeah, game yeah. Uh, but I do like it I like um, the I like betting games most of the time uh, I'm one of those people that doesn't mind it um, and I think they did a pretty good um, mechanism when it comes to betting because you're only throwing one in there and then when you pass you get more it's more about paying attention to what hands are, are on the board and trying to um, make a plan because you have to plan uh, say like okay, I at least want to be second, or, or at least pick second, or mm -hmm. I'm just going to go into this round, round just getting rocked, so I want to continue to bet and try to sap these fools here for their stones. Fools? Yeah, and uh, that will be my plan, and if I get some hands uh, and cards, 
um, then that that's, that's bonus points, right? But that's what I think about this game. I think it's solid. Uh, it's also Mayday Games as a, a producer of the game as well. Um, but uh, I, I I like it. it. It's not anything spectacular, but something that I want to keep around. And again, it's a a more bulked up no thanks in my opinion. Uh, Chris, you want to go? Yeah, I'll totally go. Uh, so like I said earlier, I uh, wasn't gonna. I didn't think I was gonna be impressed with this game only because of the caveman aspect of it, and I was wrong. I was totally wrong. Yeah. This was a a, a very fun and very uh, quick game. Uh, the the box says about a twenty five minute. Um, I think we were maybe a little bit yeah. longer, but only because you know it's it's about the interaction that we yeah. have with each other. So it was a it was a really good game. Um, I'm gonna give it a six point five. Six point five. I would I want to give it a seven. Only I would like to give it a seven, but I lost horribly because oh, okay. because I was doing something um, like when Dave explained in the rules. I really wasn't paying attention. To the animals, is what, and that's really what you needed. To do. You need to pay attention to two things. You need to pay attention to the animals and colors. I focused on just the colors. Yeah. So I, I think I might have gypped myself. Yeah. In the in the times that we've played this, but um, all in all, everything looks everything looks great about this game. Way better than I thought it was going to be, and I think I would play it any any, any any time. You guys would want to play this. Or any with anybody else, I would want to play it. You're the art guy, so what'd you think? Yeah, the art. I mean, the art's really good. I mean, it's it's caveman art. Uh, so it's the really, original art. Yeah, right. So it's not. Uh, <laughs> there's not really a lot of detail, but I think that's the point of it, right? Yeah, that's, sure, sure, sure. No, you know what I mean, you got to be simple. And like Dave touched on with the with the with the stones on here, these are pretty amazing. You know, like when you see these. Like, yeah, what do you guys think about the components? The, the yeah. cardboard is good. They are. The card I mean, quality is, is solid. Not It is linen finish. Right. And these so, right here. I mean, it's not much there, but the components are solid. I think, it, I think if it wasn't for these, there's not a lot to it. But I mean, you know, but that's those a decent really component. Yeah. I mean, they're not they're not uniform. Right. And the insert though, right, too? That, that, that kind of, that little bowl, that, that's kind of... Oh, yeah. Like, like a, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah. So what do you think? So like I said, I enjoyed it. We're going to go over to Trevor. I don't want to do it. He no, do it. Um, he's not doing it. He's not doing it. Uh, it. You will notice something, and I've noticed this as a theme, that that we all have tend to coalesce into similar similar categories. Is that bad? Like, are are we like a, a solo salesman? We're just like a map of one big. I don't. Like I don't know what figure. it is. I mean, I, I I just a. I don't think we're that critical, which I'm okay with. I yeah. Think, I think people that are just overly critical in life probably just need to get a life. Um, yeah. But uh, we all right tend to be in that same range most of the time, unless yeah. we're playing UGG Tech or But Wait, There's More. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but. We're just gonna replace his face I, with that. I, yeah. I, I'm with Chris on this one. I'm giving it a six point five. Um, and honestly, I'll say this: um, I think it might get a, a seven, maybe even like a seven point five, if it's like a five person game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, you're right. I don't yeah, think I don't think the the dynamic of theory, and that's that's one thing we we try and test these games out sometimes on on a bigger crew, especially if it's a, a game that has to be played with more people. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of our testing is done just within the core group here, and. And so we get a lot of feel for what it's like for a three-person game, which a lot of games, a that's that's a strength, yeah. you know, is, is a three-person game. But then there are some that really thrive off of like a four, five, even six. This Benning, only, yeah. Right. And this only goes up to five, um, so it makes it a lot more complex if you're playing with five people and you're really, like, let's say you're playing that round more to get stones than you are to get cards. Maybe you just threw... You know, one of the, the stones would be yeah. Yeah. Time, yeah, and so that's tough. Like in here, you've got a pretty good idea if you're going to be able to steal the pot or not. Yeah. But if you're if you're the in a five person game, you throw another stone, you're like, okay, I'm going to take the stones on the next turn, mm -hmm. and the guy right before yeah. you does it, there's a lot more likelihood that that's going to happen. Because it's true. Like a three person was just even, really. Right. Yeah. All kind of Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good point. Yeah, I, I but. I will say, um, if it wasn't for the shells, I mean, the components are still good. Yeah. Uh, the cards are good quality. I mean, front and back has uh, pretty decent artwork. It's not terribly, uh, you know, it's not like cell animation. It's not just real basic. It's pretty right. good animation. Um, really thick cardboard and even the little uh, plastic inserts, pretty cool. And again, but these are really what make it, you know, you got a nice shine to them and they're not uniform. Yeah. They're completely unique to every single piece. It's not even like there's you know, six different 
molds for it. You know, right. some games will be good because they'll have some variety, but this is just completely it's random. Pretty so. organic, right? Yeah. But, well, it probably right. is. It's probably like some sort of shell or, yeah, or very, rock or something that they use. Cool. But so for components, I would probably give it higher than That's that. That's why I but, bought it. Yeah. But I think overall, uh, the way that we played it as a three-person game, I'm looking at a six point five. I think that if uh, if we could get a little more interaction with a four or five person game, I might bump that up as high as a 7.5. Cool. Yeah, agree. All right, well, that's what we think, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on today's review. Uh, it was a pretty solid one, in my opinion, and I think theirs as well. Yeah. So, uh, if you are a new viewer, thank you so much for tuning in, and if you like what you see, well, click like and subscribe. It's just right down there. And if you're a continued watcher, well, you are the lifeblood, and keep us keeping on. Uh, so, until the next time that I see ya, I've been Dave. Trevor. Chris. I'm oh, Chris. yeah. And have a great rest of your day. And a great time with all the Lasco games that you play. Bing, bang, boom. Bye, guys. <laughs>